Rigatoni con vodka sauce. It sounds really fancy, but it's not. It's really easy to make. It's a great main course or a side dish with some sausage. Let's get cooking with style. Since this sauce comes together so quickly, we're gonna wait till the very end to make it. What I'm gonna do right now is start my rigatoni in this boiling, heavily salted water. Don't overcook your pasta because we're gonna use some of the pasta water and the sauce to finish the rigatoni at the end. Just check the rigatoni and it is almost done, but what we're gonna do is start making the sauce. I've got a little bit of olive oil here, about two tablespoons. I've got my shallots, which are minced pretty fine. And I've got this on a medium heat. I'm gonna saute these just for a moment, just to kind of open up the shallots, get the flavor of them going around. We're not gonna overcook everything because we want it nice and fresh here. And you see how nice that is right there? I'm gonna take my garlic, put that in, swirl that around. This is gonna cook for about 30 seconds or so, maybe just a little bit longer. Lightly seasoned with a little bit of salt, about a half a teaspoon. I'm gonna saute that. And then we're gonna take our crushed red peppers. Now you can do a lot or a little. I'm gonna go with a half a teaspoon. You know what I always say, you can add more, but you can't take it out. So we'll start with that. All right, stop everything. This is really important because we're using alcohol. I want you to shut the stove off completely so there's no flame. And when you add the vodka, make sure it's away from the stove. All that steam you see coming off of there, that's the alcohol evaporating. And if that got hit by a flame, it would burst into flames. Let's get back to it. Now we're gonna use tomato paste, and this is gonna go in. And to that, now I'm gonna add my pasta water. We're gonna do one ladle the first time. and we'll swirl that around just a little bit. And the reason I'm using tomato paste is it's got a nice silkiness to it. And you can see how it's already thickening up that sauce, so we're gonna add another ladle of pasta water. Our pasta is just about done. We'll let this come to a simmer and then I'll strain my pasta and we'll put it all together. Pasta is almost done. Final phase, we're gonna put in about a half a cup of heavy cream and I'm gonna mix this just a little bit to see how thick the consistency is. Keep the heat on medium high because we wanna reduce that cream just a little bit. See how nice and pretty that looks, the greenness of that. And I'm gonna add, I held back just a little bit of my pasta water because it's getting a little tight, so I wanna add a little bit more water. This is kind of, this is chemistry here. We're not, we're, uh, we're definitely going, making it as we go. Pasta is al dente, just a little bit less than where it should be. So we want it to cook just a few moments in here. And then I'm gonna take some fresh basil, sprinkle that in. I wanna put the basil in at the very end because I want all the aromatics to come out in the sauce. All right, this is just about ready to serve up. I'm gonna head over to the, the countertop and plate it up. All right, let's get this all finally put together. I'm gonna to add one little pat of butter, two little pats of butter. What that does is it adds a little bit of uh, silkiness to the sauce, and it'll add just a little bit of salt, so that's why you don't wanna over salt. To this, we're just gonna put this and make it family style, and then that way everyone can kinda of just dig in here. Get this in here and do it as neatly as I can in that nice white bowl. You can see how pretty that looks against that. All right, give that a little shake around like so. All right, let's finish it up here. Some Parmesan cheese, put that over the top, a little bit more. Of course, you wanna finish that off with a little Italian parsley, sprinkle it over the top. And since John's on the other side of the camera, a little bit of crushed red pepper for him too. All right, so this is Rigatoni con vodka sauce, super easy. You saw how fast it all came together. A real family pleaser if you'd like this recipe and all the ones we're doing here on Cooking with Styles, go to cbs8.com slash recipes. That's Cooking Elegance, enjoy.
that's it.